let me tell you a story the year was 1989 most of you were not even born then but it was an amazing time the it was such an amazing time that the indian team could, could go to pakistan and play cricket in pakistan and the pakistan cricket team could come to india and they could actually play cricket here nowadays that doesn't happen we play each other in neutral venues outside the country outside both the countries so 1989 it was and india's team had gone to play a test match series in pakistan you know what that means you know when india and pakistan play cricket with each other it is like war it's very unfortunate that's not how it should be but that's how it has become and it was a very tense series it was a four match test series and here's how things went the first test match resulted in a draw the second test match resulted in a draw the third test match resulted in a draw now you know the fourth test match had become the most critical test match now this was the decider whoever would win this would win the series and india was faring very badly the second innings india score was 38 for four wickets you know what that means very less runs and best indian batsman back in the pavilion who was back in the pavilion india's opener krishnamachari shrikant three runs and back in the pavilion sanjay manjrekar four runs back in the pavilion ravi shastri out for zero back in the pavilion mohammad azruddin four runs back in the pavilion who was responsible for this two bowlers who were bowling really wonderfully that day wasim akram and wakar yunus they were bowling so well that you couldn't even see the ball you could only hear it whizzing past and that was the situation when out came to bat a 16 year old boy he took his stance and the first ball hit him on the nose and there was blood oozing out there was blood on the t-shirt blood on the gloves and this boy was flat on the ground at the other end of the crease standing there and watching all of this navjot singh sadhu says i remember that moment very clearly i thought at that moment ye to gaya and then out comes dr ali rani india's physio who is famous for having only two you know it's joked that he had only two solutions for every problem tincture iodine or an ice pack and he sees dr ali rani come out with an ice pack and navjot singh sadhu says ab to ye pakka gaya and dr ali rani comes tries to fix sachin tendulkar but he is he is beyond a stage that can be fixed blood is still oozing out of his nose and dr ali rani says something very interesting to sachin he says you know what the four guys before you they were out they have gone back to the pavilion not to come back but you are not out come back with me let me fix you up and then you can come back and bat you can retire hurt and sachin looked him in the eye and in marathi accented hindi he said two words he said mai khelega and navjot singh said he couldn't he couldn't believe his ears so he rushes in anger and concern because he knows what is right for this boy at this stage he puts his hand on his shoulder and he says i think you should go back and get yourself fixed and such in shrugs of navjot singh said those hand looks him in the eye and says mai khelega and still bleeding from his nose he gets up and he bats and he does something that none of the four cricketers who went before him could do he scores his first international half century that day under those circumstances and along with navjot singh sadhu he he gets into a 100 run partnership he saves the day for india he saves the match for india the sachin tendulkar that we hero worship and we call the god of cricket was not born 16 years ago he was born on that day now you know shakespeare has said that the world is a stage and we are all actors i will just modify that a little bit to say the world's a cricket pitch and we are all cricketers and like in cricket there in life there will be googlies and there will be bouncers and often 
there will be blood oozing out of the nose. It is up to us whether we want to say, retire hurt, or we want to say, main khelega. And if you say, main khelega, then you are my hero. You are my Sachin Tendulkar. What does it take to challenge challenges? What does it take to do something like this? It takes grit. It takes determination. It takes passion. It takes courage. It takes a big heart. But more than anything else, I also think that in addition to all of this, it also takes a little bit of madness. Ek junoon hona chahiye. Ek pagalpan hona chahiye. Now I, you know, I was 17 years old when this happened. I saw this. I had dreams. I wanted to do something that I do today, but I didn't have the courage to back it up. I didn't have madness. So I retired hurt into a regular advertising job. And I worked for 17 years till one day I got the courage to say, Main bhi khelega, and story walas happened. And I started the story walas. I remember that day very clearly. You know, my mom, she asked me three questions. The first question she asked me is, Beta, kya karoge? What will you do? And I said, Main kahaniya sunaunga, logon ko kahaniya sunaunga. Logon ko kahaniya kaise sunate hain, ye sikhane ki koshish karunga. I'll try and teach people how to tell stories. She said, Acha. Hmm. And then she asked me the second question. She said, do you think people will pay for this? Do you think you'll be able to make a living doing this? And I said, I'm not sure, but maybe, just maybe, people will pay. In my mind, I knew the answer. It looks impossible. But I thought, maybe. And then she asked me the third question. Tum pagal to nahi ho gaye ho? Have you gone mad? And I smiled and I looked at her and I said, Haan, ab mein paagal ho gaya hoon. Aao, aao thoda paagal pan ho jaye. Aao, hum sab thoda paagal ho jaye. Aao, tez hawaon se lad jaye. Aao, hum sab paagal ho jaye. Aao, tez hawaon se lad jaye. Aao, hum sab thoda paagal ho jaye. Aao, पैसे को ललचाए आओ पैसे को ललचाए उससे उल्टी दिशा में जाए जब भी रस्ते में मिल जाए उसको कह दे टाटा बाए आओ थोड़ा पागल हो जाए हम नहीं अभी बाकी है आसमान से सारे तारे अपनी जेब में भर के लाए हम आसमान से सारे तारे अपनी जेब में भर के लाए हम तारों से कंचे खेलेंगे चांद हमारा स्ट्राइकर होगा ये सपना नहीं है इसको सच करके दिखलाए हम आओ पागल हो जाए हम तेज हवाओं से लड़ जाए हम आओ मौत से दोस्ती कर लें आओ मौत से यारी कर लें उसको पार्टी में बुलवाएं हफ्ते हफ्ते मिलने जाएं हाय हेलो करके आए दिल से मौत का खौफ हटा के जिंदगी से मिलने जाए आओ पागल हो जाए तेज हवाओं से लड़ जाए आओ पागल हो जाए ऐसा कहते हैं हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई हैं ये सारे भाई भाई कहते हैं ना हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई हैं ये सारे भाई भाई आओ इस चुटकुले को सच मान ले हम आओ इस चुटकुले को सच मान ले हम पागल हो जाए हम तेज हवाओं से लड़ जाएं हम आओ फिर से बच्चे बन जाएं हम ये मान ले अपने दिल में कि अकेला मैं सारी दुनिया को बदल सकता हूं आओ जिद्दी बन जाएं हम आओ थोड़ा पागल बन जाएं हम आओ तेज हवाओं से लड़ जाएं हम आओ पागल बन जाएं हम Why stories? You know, why stories? I, I truly believe that stories can change the world. 
I truly believe that stories can change the world and today we don't have the right kind of stories. It's important to choose the right kind of stories and tell the right kind of stories. Today we are doing some work transforming education through stories. How many of you remember the Pythagoras theorem? Ah, and, and all of you don't remember the Pythagoras theorem? We've all studied it. Anybody who's gone to grade 9th, grade 8th has studied it. You know, we don't remember the stuff that we've learned by mugging up. Khargosh or Kachwe ki kahani yaad hai? See, if you want to remember stuff, and one of the key tests of learning is that we should be able to apply it in life. To be able to apply it in life, we need to remember it in the first place. If you don't remember it, how are we going to apply it? If you want to make stuff memorable, you need to tell a story. So we are trying to transform education by training teachers how to use stories to teach math to teach science, to teach life skills, to teach sports, to teach things that they struggle how to teach, like sex education. It's all possible through stories. We are transforming business and we are training leaders how to tell stories because leaders also struggle to tell stories and we live in an attention deficit world. Actually, you know, when I work with leaders and help them present to other leaders, I find that, you know, leaders are no different from kids because Kids have zero attention spans, leaders have zero attention spans, children are brutally honest, leaders are brutally honest. They will not tolerate nonsense, they will not tolerate nonsense. Very similar, very, very same. So we are having fun doing all of that. But, you know, today what excites me is that, you know, we are taking storytelling to places where I had not imagined that we could take it. We are taking it to places like conflict resolution. You know, Dadi Ma ya kehti thi ki ek baar kisi ki kahani sun lo na, to usko hate karna mushkil ho jata hai. It's, it's very difficult to hate someone whose stories you've heard. That reminds me of a story. <laughs> you know, once there were these two warriors who led the strongest armies of their time. And by chance, by fate, they came face to face. It was early morning, they drew the swords and the army started fighting each other. A great, great battle ensued. And by evening, when the sun was going down, nobody except these two warriors survived. They stood there, tired, exhausted, surveying dead soldiers, dead horses. And they said, it gives us no honor to go back like this from here. So why don't we rest tonight and fight again tomorrow? Only one of us will go back from here alive. So they lie down there, a few feet away from each other. And as the moon came up and as the stars came out, one guy, he told the other one, you know what, I have a son, he's really young, he fights using a wooden sword. And this guy heard that and he said, you know, I have a daughter and when I look at the sparkle in her eyes, it reminds me of the sparkle in my wife's eyes. And then he responded by telling him a story about his father and grandfather and all the battles that they had won. And he responded by telling a story about the places that he had been to and all the experiences that he had experienced. And all night, one after the other, they kept told, telling stories to each other. Finally, the sun rose, it was morning, they stood. They wore the body armor, put on the helmet, took out the sword, tried to fight each other, looked into each other's eyes, but they could not fight each other. They put back the swords and walked away in separate directions. The world needs to listen to each other's stories. It's a very great skill to be a good storyteller, but more important is a skill to be a good listener. There was a salesman back in the days, you know, when television was still early, you know, in, in its early days, and he used to go from town to town, village to village, selling television sets to people. And once he reached a village and he saw that, you know, these people love stories because every evening they sit around a fire and tell each other stories. 
so he he went up to those guys and he said you know what you guys love stories you guys will love the television because it tells so many stories so everybody in the village bought a television set he was so happy his target was done and then he moved on and after a few months he was passing by the same way and he happened to see something strange in that village he saw all the televisions gathering dust lying stacked up one above the other he waited till evening when people gathered and he said what happened i thought you guys loved stories and the elder from the village he spoke up and he said you know what initially it was fun the tv would tell us many stories but it would not listen to our stories it's more important to be a good listener than to be a storyteller and how much do we listen to each other so listen to each other and tell each other great stories because the world needs good stories i truly believe that with good stories we can change the world now challenging the challenges you know this is a good start good conversations happening where do we go from here isko aage kahan le jaye here's what i am saying to myself today उठो कोलंबस उठो कोलंबस अभी तो बहुत दूर जाना है तुम्हें अब आप सोच रहे होंगे ये कोलंबस को क्यों उठा रहे हैं उसको सोए तो बहुत टाइम हो गया कोलंबस तो एक मेटाफर है आप कोलंबस हैं आप कोलंबस हैं मैं भी कोलंबस हूं हम सब सफर में हैं वी आर ऑल इन जर्नी उठो कोलंबस अभी तो बहुत दूर जाना है तुम्हें हाँ ये सच है हाँ ये सच है कि चांद पे झंडा गाड़ चुके तुम एवरेस्ट को ललकार चुके तुम पानी के नीचे की दुनिया उसको भी चप्पा चप्पा छान चुके तुम आसमान को चीर के रॉकेट मंगल ग्रह तक भेज चुके तुम लेकिन घर के पास पड़ोसी लेकिन घर के पास पड़ोसी देखो कब से रूठा बैठा है उसके घर में फाका है वो चार दिनों से भूखा है उसके घर मल हम कब भेजोगे खुद के दिल में जो नफरत है उस नफरत पे झंडा कब गाड़ोगे उस पे फतेह कब पाओगे उस नफरत का पत्ता कब काटोगे उठो कोलंबस अभी तो बहुत दूर जाना है तुम्हें दुनिया सारी जीत चुके हो दुनिया सारी जीत चुके हो दिल जीतना बाकी है सात समंदर लांग चुके हो दिल की सरहद बाकी है उठो कोलंबस अभी तो बहुत दूर जाना है तुम्हें आसमान की ऊंचाइया तो छू चुके हो दिल की गहराइयों में जाना है तुम्हें उठो कोलंबस अभी तो बहुत दूर जाना है तुम्हें थैंक यू